In a month or so here on Farm Week, we'll introduce you to the new Mississippi Forestry Association Outstanding Logger of the Year. In the feature segment today, we have Anthony Logging, the outgoing MFA Outstanding Logger of the Year. This family operation is based in Marion County, west of Hattiesburg. Professional is one common term that's used to describe its work. This might seem an odd word to use to those unfamiliar with logging. To survive in today's recession hit timber industry, however, you can't make mistakes. You know, when we ride down the road and we see a track of timber we thin and, you know, we want somebody to say, man, that looks good out there and that's, that's what we shoot for. Mitch Anthony and his two brothers came by their logging careers honestly. They grew up working for their father's logging company in the Columbia, Mississippi area. In 1995, Mitch and his middle brother Mike formed their own company, Anthony Logging. In 2008, youngest brother Mark joined his brothers as a truck driver. I've really been doing this since I was about 16 years old. And when I was, wasn't in school, I was out here. I'm, I just turned 39 in June, so pretty much all my life. The Anthony logging crew is small, which may have helped it weather the present recession. There are three in the woods, Mitch on the feller buncher, Mike on the knuckle boom loader, and Calvin Garner mans the skidder. Brother Mike and Andy Socia drive the two trucks. Contract trucks are hired as needed. Mitch's wife, Kimmy, handles the payroll and bookkeeping. Being small and experienced has contributed to the crew's excellent safety record. There have been no lost time accidents since 1998. I don't know, it seems like the, the bigger you are, the more headache it is and the size we are. Me and Mitch is on a piece of equipment and we know where the other one is, you know. We just never really wanted to be big. Nobody on the ground, of course, you know, that contributes a lot, but uh, everybody just knows what they got to do and we try not to get too congested all at one time. Uh, to me, that's got a lot to do with not getting anybody hurt, you know. Family oriented, um, real close. Uh, they're all CPR first aid certified. So, um, you know, it says a lot about, about the guys. They're, they're, they're top notch, uh, top notch group. Safety is a part of the job at Anthony Logging. Safety training takes place regularly, including defensive truck driving and fire drills. Anthony Logging provides all safety equipment to its employees, including steel-toed boots. Seat belts are worn at all times on power equipment. Anthony Logging is versatile. It can handle both thinning and clear cuts. Anthony Logging has worked since July 2010 as a contract logger for Miles Lumber Company of Bogalusa, Louisiana. Prior to that, the company logged many years for Warehouser. Chris Williams of Miles says the Anthony's do an excellent job of merchandising. That is, separating the timber according to its size and type, sending it to the mill where it will bring the most money. A critical skill in good times, but even more so now. Everybody knows we're, we're on hard times. The lumber markets are down, the economy's down, and uh, every dollar has to go a long way nowadays. Uh, these guys were a good fit for us, and I think we're a good fit for them. They do a good job, uh, and no matter what they do, whether it's clear cutting or thinning, I'm glad to have them with us on our team. Baxter Rowley of the Mississippi Forestry Commission and the Marion County Forestry Association helped nominate Anthony Logging for the award. Rowley says the Anthonys are respected in Marion County for the way they leave a logging site. They follow the environmental guidelines of the Sustainable Forestry Initiative and best management practices. The tracks are always clean after they leave. They, pro they follow proper BNPs, best management practices. Um, they don't leave any trash on the sites. It's, it's just a professional, professional logging job. Pride is something that's a really good story. Their job had the feel, the look, the clean aesthetics. The harvesting job was just excellent. And that's a story that needs to be told in today's business environment with the public perception of forestry and logging. They put a real good positive story out. Jimmy Broughton is the president of the Marion County Forestry Association. He helped to nominate the Anthonys for the award. A veteran of the Mississippi timber industry, the Anthonys have cut for him in the past. It's easy to check, I call it kind of walk up a logging job or check a logging job. It's easy for me to go do theirs. Man, I know I'm not going to find anything going wrong. Mitch and Mike Anthony are also known as being men of their word, both on and off the job. 
They're stand-up people. They, uh, whatever they say they will do, they will do. Logging companies don't often get the same respect traditional brick and mortar businesses do, but it's not for lack of capital investment. Logging companies also have to meet the same obligations other businesses do. It's not hard to get a million dollars worth of equipment in three or four pieces on your logging job. Most of the loggers out here have over a million dollars invested in their business. They've got liability insurance, they've got workers' comp, they've got, you know, they've got accountants, they've got bookkeepers, they've got the whole nine yards. I mean, it, it's the same business as a sidewalk business in the middle of town, only it's just out in the woods. The Anthonys are known for being active in their community. They participate in the Log a Load for Kids program and the Marion County Forestry Association. As you can imagine, family ties are strong. Mitch and his wife Kimmy have one daughter, Alex, while Mike and his wife, Jonna, have a son, Evan. I asked Mitch what it was like having a brother as a business partner. Uh, I think he's, we're going we're gonna to make it hard, I think. <laughs> At the end of the day, the mission statement of Anthony Logging could be summed up in a few words. We try to do it to log it to where if it was our land, that's the way we'd want it done. You can watch this story about the Anthonys again on our Farm Week website. We will have links to get you in touch with the Mississippi Forestry Association, the Mississippi Forestry Commission, and the Mississippi State University Extension Service. All can give you good forestry information and give you some good advice on choosing a logger for your land.